Hi, this is Chaydeep Ganguly at Fusion Applied and in this video I'll be showing you how to debug a BPM process in BPM 12C. I have a BPM process here with a few process data objects and I have some activities in here that are manipulating these process data objects. I have some rules that are changing my process data object and I also have an XSLT script in here that is changing the process data object. As a developer, it would be immensely helpful to me to be able to inspect process data objects at each of these steps. So I'm going to show you how to use the debugger to do this. Let's say I want to inspect something before the process token gets into my rule activity and before it gets into the script activity. So the first thing I would want to do is to add a breakpoint at my rule activity. Right click and you'll see toggle breakpoint click on that and you should see a breakpoint now and I'll do the same thing at each of these activities now in my case the SOA server is already running and my BPM project is deployed in there if you haven't done that yet make sure you start the server and deploy your project there the next thing you have to do is to start the debugger so go to the BPM project if you right click You'll see a debug option there. Click on that. Debugging a BPM process is basically a remote debugging activity. We have a debugger running in JDeveloper and we're going to attach it to a debuggy process running on your SOA server. So that's the host where my SOA debuggy process is running. That's the port that it's running on. So how do I know that's the port number? Well, JDeveloper gave me that by default. But also, if you go to your set startup env script file in your domain bin folder, you'll see that there is a SOA debug port in there, and you can see the value there. The timeout is a timeout for establishing a connection with the debuggy process. So let's go ahead and attach the debugger now. Click OK. Now that the debugger is running, we can try to inspect our process data object as the token is moving through the BPM process. I'm going to go into workspace now and submit this form on an existing process instance. And let's see if the process token moves through the service call and then waits at my rules because I have a breakpoint there. So I'm in workspace now and I've entered all my values and I'm going to submit this form. Now you can see that as soon as I submitted the form, I went back into JDeveloper. The focus basically changed back to JDeveloper and I can see a highlight around my rules. That's because the debugger is waiting there. If you switch to the data tab, you'll see all the process variables, including your process data objects. So that's my process data object. That's one of them. And I can see all the values in here. So I can see that the status is empty. Once the rules run, I'm expecting the status element to have a value of rejected. Let's see if that happens. Go over to the debugger buttons and step over so it goes to the next step. So it stops at the next breakpoint. And let's see if our status field has changed. So you can see that the status field now has rejected. That's what my rule changed. Let's step over again so that it goes to the next breakpoint. And it's at the next breakpoint now. Let's check our candidates. And you can see that the candidates is empty now because my script had some logic to remove candidates that were rejected. So the debugger is a really nice new addition in BPM 12C. And I'm sure you will find it very helpful during your development activities. 